check one two youtube what's good this is your boy lavish life dj peck right now i am on hiatus from any events as design i like to take this time from about january to about march it's three months but it's enough time for me to kind of sit back relax uh, also just basically reevaluate where i am change up a few things you know make some modification work on my music so i'm in the lab working on a few things and i just wanted to pop in and show you what i've been working on so the first thing i want to show you which you probably see is this thing here this is not new this is the pixel bar that i've shown you before from china right now you can get them at both light and it's a little bit more expensive but you do get uh rick Webb's team if you know something goes awry or something goes wrong you can always uh reach out to them and you'll have someone stateside to help you out right now standing on a gravity stand so basically how i would use this is how it is uh, being used right now um, as a sort of a, a centerpiece a wash light uh, i had them you know in the opposite direction before sort of like these guys and they work well but i thought they were too bright and i was going to return them i do still have six of them I figure if I have them, make use of them. They are battery operated, wireless DMX. So basically I just put them on the gravity stand and connect them to whatever DMX software I'm using, which that's another update that I have to tell you guys. I am using sound switch now. I've uh, returned the sound switch and let's check this out right here. So this is the Korg NanoPad 2. And this little thing is a beast. Um, I'm able to link it to sound switch and program each of these buttons. And then right here you have different scenes that you can go through. Basically each scene, you have a fresh new set of pads. Each scene will have 16 pads. So if you times that by four, you get 64 pads uh, that you're working with. If you're working with sound switch, if you're about to get sound switch, definitely get the control one because that is designed right out of the box for sound switch. This is not, but you know, I like my customization. I like the fact that this Korg Nano Key, I can get it in white and I can get it small enough to fit on my DJ table. And right now it's be it's uh, Velcroed, so I don't have to move it. So that's something that's new and that's controlling this guy. So we're gonna push red. Let's see if I can get this on camera. And you see how quickly it changes. Wireless DMX, there's nothing that's connecting to this other than the wireless DMX through sound switch. So if I want blue, want green. Down here, you guys have seen my Intimidator Free Spot 60s. Those are also battery operated and wireless, but when I don't want to bring that, I can bring a few of these or even one in the centerpiece and you know have a strobe um, go through the colors uh, i have programmed some of my auto loops from sound switch and they look pretty dope um, so yeah this is what i'm working with right now the other thing that i wanted to show you was my rain one i just uh went to a 12 inch skin and bought a white wrap that I'm using to change the color. And then I have a few custom platters to go with the white wrap. Still the same Yamaha MG06X mixer that you guys are pretty familiar with. Still the GTD audio over there. Still rocking with Ape Labs. The Ape Labs that I am gonna run through sound switch um yeah i've programmed it so that it worked really well from my use case and i can't wait to debut all this stuff show it to you guys you know one of the things i really enjoy is showing you guys stuff before i debut it and basically going out and illustrating that 
If you haven't liked, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. It will mean the world to me. Peace.